Well, hi, it's Rob. And I'm out in front today because I wanted to do a quick update on the pepper garden and show you how it's coming along. I have a couple of peppers that have come in and uh, I think we're going to do a little taste test. So this is what I call the back 40. Uh, there aren't any peppers that are coming in yet. Piper is over there on the other side of the fence and she's very upset. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're getting big. I should probably give them some food that's going to nurture uh, uh, fruit growth. Would you like to say hello, Piper? <coughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm up here. Oh. Oh. She poor girl. Poor girl. Now, originally I had 148, and I have lost now two. Uh, both of these are jalapenos, so I'm not overly concerned. The rest are doing uh, quite well, and you can see the difference in varieties. I mean, the difference in the leaves between these and these is pretty obvious. I am probably going to need to add in another layer of plastic out here and slide these apart to give them more room to gather more sunlight. Uh, but as you can see, I've got some little ones in here. Uh, and I don't know what that is because the label washed off. Silly me for using a Sharpie. So I've got one of these. Uh, the long ones back there. I want to see if I can get to that. Uh, let's see, this is... Oh, Portuguese. Portuguese hot pepper. I believe those are pretty mild. These, I think, are uh, habaneros coming in. There's some jalapenos here. Uh, I've got some pepperoncini peppers here that are starting to turn color. That one's red. I've never had a red pepperoncini before. I guess we'll find out what that's like. And then these are Primero peppers. So I never had a Primero pepper before, but it looks small and smooth. I'm guessing it's going to be about the equivalent of a cherry pepper. All right, time for a tasting. Now the uh, pepperoncini is kind of purpley. Ooh, ah, kind of purpley right now. Uh, it's not completely ripe, but it's definitely riper than most of the ones that you get, you know, in the pickle. So, let's give it a shot. A little bit of flavor. Not a lot of heat. Uh, I wouldn't expect a lot of heat from a pepperoncini. I think there's a little bit in there, but it's not not too horrible. Uh, okay, we're going to try the uh, Portugal pepper variety. Really pretty mild. That's Boy, that's just a little tiny bit hotter than a, a sweet pepper. Definitely tastes more like a sweet pepper than any other hot peppers. Um, really not very hot. Um, now the one that I, the little Asian pepper that I couldn't, uh, couldn't recognize the writing. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some heat there. Oh. It's bitey. <laughs> oh. Sorry, battery died on me. Got one left. This is this little Primero. Uh, it's a 
I had never heard of them before. They had them at the hardware store when I was there, so I picked up some. Um, they're in planters, they're in pots. So I don't know how they're good. I think the pots might be part of the reason that some of these are ripening early, but I'm not sure. There it goes. Ooh. Very citrusy. What? Wow, it's quite a lot of flavor. Oh. Oh, and some heat. Oh, okay. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh. Okay. I think my favorite so far are, the, are these Primeros. They're uh, full of flavor. I mean, the, the flavor on those compared to any of the other preppers so far has just been amazing. Uh, all right, that's all I got for now. That's all my uh, oh, my mouth can handle. Ah. All right. I will talk to you guys later.